Hi there, and welcome to Storytime with Kay. Today we will read Playing with Lanterns by Wang Yaga and illustrated by Zhu Chengliang. This book was translated by Helen Wong and published by Amazon Crossing Kids in 2022. There was always snow at New Year in the north. When it snowed at dusk and on through the night, and winter was at its coldest, we would wake in the morning to a new white world outside. We spent the first day of the new year at home. From the second day of new year, everyone went out, crunching through the snow on the ridges between the fields, to visit family and friends and wish them happy new year. On the third day, uncles started giving lanterns. By the fifth day, New Year didn't feel quite so new anymore. Zhao Di couldn't wait for Uncle to come. He gave her two lanterns, as he did every New Year. She had to be careful when she walked through the snow with her lantern in case she slipped or the candle blew out in the wind. The sky was as dark and deep as the sea. Lanterns near and far bobbed like lamps on fishing boats. Zhao Di, come and join us. Zhao Di and her friends showed one another their lanterns. They were all different. A colorful accordion lantern, a lovely pink lotus lantern, a stripy watermelon lantern, and a bright red globe lantern, four beautiful lanterns. Zhao Di and her friends walked around the village, their lanterns raised. When a sudden gust of wind blew, they had to swerve quickly to protect their lanterns. The candle flames bowed sideways for a moment before righting themselves. But Zhao Di's candle went out. Zhao Di's friends gathered round to block out the wind while she relit her candle from another lantern. They saw lanterns bobbing at the end of the lane and started walking toward them. But when they heard boys' voices, they stopped, ready to turn back. The boys raised their lanterns even higher then all of a sudden, they charged at the girls, swinging their lanterns out Zhao Di and her friends. When the girls squealed, the boys ran off laughing. The night grew colder and colder. The village was quiet. Not a single dog barked. Our candles will go out soon, said one of her friends. Zhao Di stopped to check the dim light in her lantern. Zhao Di, it's late. It's time to come home. Zhao Di's mother sounded impatient. The other girls hurried home too. Let's meet earlier tomorrow, said Zhao Di. In no time at all, it was the 15th day. Zhao Di woke to the sound of fireworks cracking and popping. But the fireworks weren't as loud and as and exciting as those on New Year's Day. They sounded sad, as though saying, the New Year celebrations are over. All day long, no matter what she was doing, Zhao Di felt empty inside. It was the last evening for lanterns. At sundown, Zhao Di lit her lantern and went outside. Lanterns and laughter floated down the dark lanes of the village. The smell of gunpowder hung in the air. Zhao Di, come and make a circle with us, her friend called. The girls put their lanterns together and ran around in a circle, singing, Glow, lanterns, glow, or to bed we must go. The moon rose slowly in the sky. Zhao Di and her friends grew tired of running around in a circle. They put their lanterns down in the middle. 
Smash the lanterns! Smash the lanterns! Someone shouted nearby. At the far end of the lane, lanterns were being swung and smashed together. Do we have to smash them already? asked Zhao Di. But she knew that the candles would go out soon, and they had to smash the lanterns before that happened, or it would bring bad luck. She didn't want Uncle to have sore red eyes again. One of her friends started smashing her lantern. Then they all joined in, laughing and shouting. The lanterns caught fire. Zhao Di and her friends went quiet. Zhao Di watched as the tongues of the flames gradually burned the lanterns into a black hole. The next evening, everything was quiet outside, and Zhao Di lay on her warm platform bed. She felt something was missing. The New Year celebrations were over. She wished it could be New Year all the time. Happy memories of playing with her lantern floated before her. Through teary eyes, she saw her accordion lantern light up again. Its soft, round glow filled her heart. She remembered feeling sad on the 15th day last year. But New Year came again, didn't it? And there will be another New Year next year, she told herself. A smile curled from the corner of her mouth, and thinking about the glowing lantern, she drifted off to sleep. The End Thank you for reading along. Be sure to rate and follow my page for new episodes posted daily.